All right, um, here's one of the big misconceptions that a lot of students get is uh, they know they have to add their fractions and they have to make sure that they get common denominators. Um, but what they do is they kind of forget what that, you know, the common multiple is and they just use that, uh, their multiple for, for both fractions. So if I was going to look at 8 and 5 and I was going to list the common multiples, um, one thing that, you know, I could do is I could list all the multiples and that would kind of take some time. Um, and, but what I notice also from my multiplication tables is also that 8 and 5 share the same multiple of 40, meaning 40, 8 goes into 40 and 5 goes into 40. And that's also going to be the lowest common multiple, which you always want to find. So a big misconception though a lot of students will do is, well, they'll say, hey, how do I get 8 to be 40? Well, I have to multiply by 5, right? And they do remember I have to make sure I keep them equivalent fractions, so I need to multiply the top by 5. But then they kind of forget that 5 needs to be multiplied by 8 to get to 40. And rather what they do is they just multiply it by 5 again. But then they remember that uh, the equivalent fraction is still 40 over um, still 40. So then what they write is 15 over 40 plus 10 over 40. And obviously that is going to be an incorrect answer, even though that actually does equal, not does not equal. That does equal 3540, but that does not equal our answer, I guess I should say. So it's important when I'm going to show you this problem, if I have 3 eighths plus 2 fifths, and I know that my equivalent fraction or my multiple is going to be 5 and 5, and the other one is going to be 8 over 8. It's important that we multiply when we're finding common multiples, that we multiply our fractions by our different multiples uh, to get to our, our common multiple. So that kind of sounded a little crazy, didn't it? You need to make sure I'm multiplying my numbers to get to my common multiple, which is 40. So 5 times 4 is definitely going to give me 40. 5 times 3 is going to give me 15. Plus 2 times 8 will give me 16. 5 times 8 will give me 40. All right, now I can add them up. And what I end up getting is, 31 over 40. So it's just a little mistake that I've noticed that a lot of students are making. Um, you know, they find the common multiple, they know what it is, but then they just kind of get lazy and they write that same number, whatever they multiply the first one by, they multi multiply it for the second one. And you got to make sure that's going to be your incorrect answer. Um, but our correct answer, when we multiply by 5 over 5 on the le left side and 8 over 8 on the right one, right fraction, end up adding them together and we get our correct answer.